Whoa, level five. I wonder if anybody remembers what other game level five made. Hello everybody, I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin, and welcome to Fantasy Life. So if you don't know, level five are the exact same studio that created Nino Kuni, The Wrath of the White Witch, a game that I'm still looking into potentially doing a few extra episodes on, uh, but this game is actually just coming out for the 3DS in the next couple of days, or it might actually be today as this video goes live. Uh, I know Kim's playing through it as well. She's made herself a little magician on this DS, and I'm gonna give it a go as well obviously playing as a different class and I believe Zoe might be having a little whirl on this game as well so from what I've been told it's kind of like a, uh, a JRPG meets Animal Crossing so we'll see how that goes but anyway let's create an avatar I am a boy I'm gonna go for we got a few body types to pick from we've got slim squat average chubby or lank <laughs> lanky that's a very British term isn't it fantastic uh, I think I'm gonna go for average Average usually works quite well. Right, now for the shape of the face, I am going to go for... I quite like angular, actually. Yeah, I quite like that one. Right, here we go. Hairstyles. Uh, oh, jeez. That is very thick head of hair. That's like Toby hair. And we've got a few more to pick from. What else have we got? Oh, here we go. Here is the uh, the Final Fantasy here. <laughs> look at that. Let me make sure I pick the right colour as well before I move through them. Because some of them might not look very good with brown hair, but maybe if it was more like mine, it would look okay. There you go. That's about right, isn't it? So, or maybe that one. No, that's more white, isn't it? Okay, that one. That, that hairstyle will do. Right, let's find one that best resembles me. Um, oh my god. Jeez, that's huge. That's some mighty big hair. And it's got some spikes going on. I wonder if you made that blue if that'd look kind of Sonic-esque. It does actually, yeah. It actually dyes his eyebrows as well, I think. From what I can tell from the picture. Um, I quite like that hairstyle. I might just go for it. I think if I go for that hairstyle, it's the most like exaggerated one out there. It's like a Final Fantasy one. Uh, let's go for some eyebrows. I'm going to go for some... Let's go for some arched ones like that. And then I'm going to go for some eyes. What kind of eye style have we got? Oh, cool, so we actually got some different ones. I like those ones, but they need to be blue. There you go. Right, i uh, go for a mouth. I want a cheeky smile if you've got one. That'll do. <laughs> the smirk is perfect. Uh, a moustache. Oh, my God. Oh, we got some rosy cheeks. Oh, <laughs> that's massive. And then we've got more of, like, a, uh, a game chap moustache. That's good. And we've got some handlebars. Uh, oh, I'm not too crazy about those. What else have we got? Oh, a cut on the face. Yes, I like that. But now that I'm looking at the character a little bit more, I'm almost kind of not into the hairstyle. I'm going to go for something a little more subtle. Oh, that one looks nice. That one's a little bit more tucked away. You can see his eyebrows now. I like that one. That's good. All right, voices. Oh, wait, what? No, wait, 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 wait. Go back, go back, go back, quick. Uh, yes, cancel. Let's try different voices. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny Bravo. <laughs> Uh, that one there, cool, sounds good. Alright, uh, username. Now, this is the thing, I never know in JRPGs if the other characters, you know, like in Pokemon, they all have, like, caps lock names. I don't know if it's going to be the same for me. I'm going to go for... Should I... Uh, let's do it. Let's call myself Martin. Uh, for some reason, I can't touch screen that one. There you go. Right, uh, yeah, I'm going to call myself Martin all in normal case. So, obviously, capital M, and then the rest is going to be in lower. Uh, backspace is B, yeah, uh, good. And there we are, and confirm. I am Martin. Yes! Right, next up, so you can choose a life you'd like to play as. No, you can change your life during the main game. Okay, so this is like, this is like RuneScape. Oh, a paladin. I like that. So we've got paladins. We've got a mercenary. He looks cool. We've got a hunter. I like that one. That's quite good. We've got the magician, which is what Kim went for. We've got a cook with a, <laughs> with a massive pot on his head. We've got the angler. Oh, that's pretty cute. We've got a woodcutter. We've got a miner. That's good. Diggy hole. We've got a blacksmith, who looks more like a baker than anything else. We've got a carpenter, that's quite cool. And then we've got the tailor, that's pretty adorable. And the alchemist is, oh, the alchemist is all green. But I do want to go for a combat class, so I'm thinking one of these first three. I think Paladin would work quite well. His hair goes nicely with that outfit. I don't want him to have like a hat on. I've been very picky about the hair, so to cover it up would be, would be a great shame. So let's get rid of that. And is there anything else I'd like to change? Uh, I don't believe so, no. Let's get in there. Yeah! Oh, cutscene. This is a magical and peaceful world. It is called Raveria. 
I used to look down on it from the sky. Now I'm gazing up at the clouds. There's a hazy moon floating up there. It's called Lunaris. Lunaris bays Reveria's landscape with its beautiful silvery light. Dawn approaches. Is my hero nearby? I sense a presence. Someone deep in a conflicted dream. Will they mine? Will they smith? Will they fell? Will they cook or sew or saw? Or will they fish? Hunt? Swing a sword? Conjure? Brew? Or even fight for valour? All they have to do is choose the way they want to live their life. It is almost daybreak in Reveria. It is time for our story to begin. That's pretty cool then. So it sounds like you can actually just play as one and then switch out to the other. I do wonder if you keep your abilities or like if items carry over and stuff or if it like resets you to zero each time. That'd be interesting. Oh me! Oh my! Have you fallen out of bed? Oh thank god it is a woman. <laughs> okay, it's good. Pam was the giveaway. I heard a huge thump just now, so I came running. Oh, I thought one of those, uh, whatchamacallit stones had fallen on our house or something. You mean a meteor, Mum? I don't know if it's my mum. It would say mum, right? If it was my mum. How weird. What are you gawping at, my dear? Did you have a strange dream? Uh, no. That's fine. Good night's sleep. Well, I had a funny dream. I dreamt about you getting a big bump on the head. I'm just glad you didn't come through the ceiling. These floorboards are old and creaky, you know. Oh, uh, but by the way, I heard you finally chose a life. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. Yeah, I'm not gonna be the uh, I'm not gonna be the hermit anymore. I'm not gonna be living in this spare bedroom. I'm actually gonna get a life and go out and do things. Uh, anyway, oh, I'm so happy for you. Such excitement. Have you checked the mailbox? There might be a letter from the king in there. Pop outside and check. There's a deer. All right, later, Mums. Is there anything inside the wardrobe? Let's have a look. It's your wardrobe. You don't need to use it right now. All right, I'm just checking. I'm just checking is there like Pokemon potion? You know, when you start RPGs, there's always like a potion somewhere in the first room. Oh, wow. <laughs> I see what they mean by the Animal Crossing vibe now. I'm getting the whole angular thing. This is very cute, isn't it? I knew this game would be adorable. Over here, my dearie. Here's the mailbox. Look. So in your mailbox, you receive letters from townspeople, flyers from local shops, and so on. Occasionally, you'll get a letter that is vital to the progression of the story. You can also view tutorials on in-game features in the form of letters, so check your letters to review a tutorial if you get stuck. Fantastic. Right, let's get down there and open the mail. And inside door number one is a letter from the king. What a coincidence. Dear Martin, once you have received your license, I would request your presence at the royal court. King Eric of Castell. Oh, fantastic. King Eric sounds like a very cheerful dude, doesn't he? Oh, God. Is that it? Am I all done? Back. There you go, I've read it. Oh, no, she wants to talk. Okay. I'm glad there's a quest icon. Oh, it's from the king, isn't it? Oh, look, there's a royal seal on the envelope. I remember my letter from the king. It was a love note. No, it wasn't really. Everyone gets one when they start their first life, but you'll need a life license first before you appear in front of the king. Do you have one already? Uh, I don't think so, no. Pop into the guild office for your license before heading up to the castle. The guild office is over there, in the square, see? Uh, okay, so it's the thing with the cog above its head. That makes sense. It's quite close. You won't get lost, but I'll mark it on your map just in case. All right, so your next story objective is displayed on a banner at the top of the touch screen. An arrow pointing to your objective is also displayed. Follow the arrow if you get lost. Brilliant. Cool. So I've got like a, a almost like a compass of sorts. Oh dear, you look a little green about the gills. I know. I'll give you a nice piece of candy to settle your stomach before you meet the king. Oh yeah, so this is like the potion, I guess. You obtain Pam's candy. Fantastic. Pop it in your pouch, dearie. That way, you'll have it close by. All right, so your pouch comes in handy when you need to grab an item in a hurry. Touch the pouch icon in the touch screen to open your pouch. Right, touch the assign icon while the pouch is open to swap items in and out. Items in your pouch can be used instantly by touching their icon. You can fit up to eight kinds of items in your pouch at once. Be smart though. I include items that you know you'll need often, like HP potions. Run along to the castle then, my dear, but don't forget to stop at the guild office first. All right, what's this then? All right, cool. So it works off like a chapters thing. Prelude, welcome to Reveria. Fantastic. 
can I now have a little run around? Yay, I can run around. Okay, my pouch is blinking at me, so let me have a little look. So if I press a sign and then pick Pam's candy and... Is that good? If I press back, is it in there? Oh, there it is. Cool, shall I eat it now? She said I looked a bit green on the gills. Let me uh, have a little eat. Oh, no. No, I'm just going to... I thought that was something different. I saw a number above my head. I didn't need any healing. Okay, I'm just... If I have my first encounter now, I'm done for. I've wasted my first pot. God damn it. <laughs> anyway, right. The guild office. Let's see who's in here. Uh, do I speak to... Yeah, I'm assuming to you. Let me just have a little look around. There's a link clerk. Street pass check. Ah. Oh, wait. There's multiplayer? Is it like online multiplayer? Ah, oh, wait. So I can't use it yet. That makes sense. Anyway, let's speak to this guy. All right, laddie. I know who you are. You're Martin, right? Here's your novice license. Don't go losing it now. Ah, oh, fantastic. I am completely empty. <laughs> I have no rank, no bonuses, no stars. I don't even know what stars are, but I have none of them. Uh, you received a paladin license from the guildmaster. Well, you're here. How about I lay down a few life lessons? Oh, God, here we go. Is he one of these old men that talks a lot? Uh, listen to me, laddie. Now, about that license of yours. Oh, no, he's not going to say it. It's the actual bubbles. All right. So in Referia, your vocation is known as your life. To begin a new life, you must first obtain a license uh, for that life from the guild office, which is where I am right now. Uh, each life is governed by a separate master. So it was almost like a sensei of sorts. Uh, after getting a license, speak to the master of your chosen life. They will teach you essential, uh, essential skills. Your rank will rise as you complete certain life achievements. As your rank rises, you'll be able to utilize different skills. All right. Uh, each life comes with a separate set of skills to learn. However, However, you can continue to use skills you learned in a previous life. Yes, get in. I was, I was wondering about that. Even when you're playing under a different life. Great, that's good stuff. So even if I start now as like a warrior one, if I change to like carpenter or whatever it was that was on the list, then I can probably still use my like attack abilities and stuff. Anyway, that'll do for your start. You don't want to keep his majesty waiting now, do you? If you've got any more questions, just come and talk to me, okay? You know the way to the castle, don't you? Go out the guild office, head north. It's hard to miss. Oh, dear. What? Eek. Oh, dear. I didn't mean to offend. Please, just let me flutter by. I uh, think you're clever, do you? Like making puns, do you? Get back here. We won't let you escape. I wasn't trying to pun. Someone help. Ah, oh, seems like there's a kerfuffle outside. Somewhere in the square by the sounds of it. Alright, he's got some damn good hearing, hasn't he? Jesus. Luckily, this shop is right in the square, so we'll find them right away. Right, let's find out what's going on. So is this our first battle? Yeah, is it these lot? Oh, it is these lot. Alright, okay. Right, now, settle down, will you? We ain't gonna hurt you. Please, just let me go. Oh, it's literally... I should have guessed from the, the flutter by. It's literally a butterfly. All right, anyway. Think we're just going to let you go after what you said? Oh, but I didn't mean anything by it. Too late for that. Quit trying to worm your way out of it. Oh, please, don't stick a... Oh, my God. Stick a pin in me and put me in a display case. Good God, that's, that's pretty grim. Don't turn me into a brooch or a hat pin. Oh, please. Kind of morbid, huh? Still, a talking butterfly is rare, isn't it? Yeah, we'll be eating well tonight. You're going to eat it? What? How can that possibly serve like two... Oh, unless they're going to sell it and buy food. Sorry, I'm being derpy. We're not going to eat you. We're going to sell you and become rich men. Oh, no. Is this right? joining on it. Hey, you. Hey, you there. Will I help her? Uh, I guess so. Here we go. First battle. I have no idea who you are, but I thank you for your bravery. Still, I must refuse your help. Wait, what? You just called me over, and now you don't want my help. You need to try and deal with the ruffians himself. Hear that? Now she's calling those ruffians. Oh, you made my bro mad. Now you're done for. Oh, dear. Don't let it end like this. <laughs> Actually, I do need your help after all. Brilliant. All right. Time to kick some ass. Let's do it. Huh? You're going to help out this uppity butterfly? Buppity? Uh, upper, upper fly? Right. Listen, potato brain. Just be quiet for half a minute, will you? And you, nosy, go play somewhere else. Play hero somewhere else, whatever. I think we're going to stop just because you asked nicely. Heh, <laughs> you've got another thing coming. We're, oh wow, <laughs> we're desperados. We make our own rules and we'll do anything to get our hands on Dosh. Dosh has in money, or is that butterfly called Dosh? 
My half a minute's up. Listen, kid, crime ain't all we do. We pick up mushrooms and flowers. We're pretty hygienic, to be honest. <laughs> I didn't put that in anyway. Uh, and we go fishing. And we set our spoils for Dosh. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, okay, cool. So we've got Lanky and Dosh so far. They're both very British terms, aren't they? Anyway, Dosh is the currency used in Riveria. You can earn Dosh in a variety of ways. Dosh can be earned by defeating enemies in battle or selling flowers or other items you've picked up on your adventures. Dosh can be earned in any life. Dosh makes Reveria go round. You can buy all kinds of items from various shops in the exchange for Dosh. Try to earn as much as you can for an affluent life. Ah, uh, if you really want to help that butterfly, then give us your Dosh. All of it. Empty his pockets. Roger, bro. Uh, let's have a look around here. Oh, sorry, that's not, that's not your pocket. Brace yourself for a shock, bro. This kid ain't got a single dosh on him. Uh, what? Oh dear, I'm broke as a joke. Forget about the butterfly, kid. You've got bigger problems. Do you know you can't get by in this world without some dosh? Huh? Uh, what's this? Oh, you found some hidden dosh? Uh, ain't no dosh. It's just an empty candy wrapper. Oh, I'm starting to feel sorry for this kid now. Oh, it's good actually, and it's a good thing that we actually uh, that we actually ate up that candy. Otherwise, they would have just nicked it anyway. Listen up, kid. Mind your own business in future and make some dosh. My bro's pretty smart, huh? Make some dosh. That's his motto. Is that it? We don't. We don't get to fight. I want to kill something. I want to attack something with my sword. I'm a brave paladin, goddammit. Anyway, you saved me from an extremely sticky situation. Thank you. I wanted to know all about different kinds of life, so I've been going around and asking everybody. And when I saw those two, I had to ask, what life do you two belong to, goon? Oaf? Oh, well, that's what happened then. Wrong choice of words. <laughs> Completely wrong choice of words. They started yelling at me and chasing me. I can't imagine why. I'm so lucky you came along. I owe you an eternal debt. Well, I have something important to do, so I'll be taking my leave now. Brilliant. Off you go. Oh, which oh, you're going to the castle as well. Should be due north of here. Ah, there it is. That's a very quick pan. All right, yeah, we're heading the same way. Do you want to come with? Farewell and good luck. Nope, you're not going to stick around and wait for me. All right, fair play. I'm heading up there anyway, so I'm sure I'll see him sometime in the future. Uh, let me speak to one of the guards. What do you say? He's a paladin like me. Welcome to Castell. He doesn't really say anything much. That's fine. Right, in we go. Oh, look at this. Castell Castle Reception Hall. Very grand sounding music. Now, dude, up there or down there? That looks about the right way, doesn't it? Here we go. And in we go. Hold it right there. This is the royal court. We do not allow anyone to pass through here unless they are appropriately attired. I'm not saying you need to be in full military apparel, but I'm afraid that your look doesn't really comply with the royal regulations. At least put on a tie or wear a bow or something. This is the king we're talking about, you know? Oh god, you meanie. <laughs> it's the butterfly again. Shh! Keep your voice down. Oh, please let me in. Oh, God. Why is he in trouble again? Did he ask him if he belongs to the OAP club instead of OAF? O -A -F, o -A -P? Gets himself in so much trouble. Anyway, hello again. I must say, I've never seen a butterfly that sparkles and talks before. Oh, God. This person is a big meanie. He won't let me see the king. Nobody's being mean. We simply don't allow insects into the royal court. Furthermore, the king doesn't have time to listen to the prattling of a butterfly. He's a very busy man. I'm sorry, but I have no choice in the matter. I must ask you to leave. Oh, well, that sucks. So is that why he was here? He wanted to speak to the king. I can't believe the prejudice on uh, one faces simply for being a butterfly. By the way, what are you doing here at the castle? Ah, so the king invited you personally. But they turned you away for not wearing a tie? How horrid. Oh, I just had a brilliant idea. Do you want to give it a try? Oh god, what does he want to do? Okay, stay where you are, don't move. Here it goes, just raise your chin a little. What? Oh dear, what's going on? Has he just got in? Oh no, he's around my neck. Ah, okay. He's like a bow tie, brilliant. Well, say hello to the butter tie, yes. Fantastic, right, we're kitted out. I reckon they should let us in now. Let's see what they say. Halt, scoundrel! I just told you your outfit is simply not... Oh, what? 
What's that sparkling under your chin? It's a bow tie. Well, that changes everything. Yes, yes, it looks quite expensive. You should have put it on earlier. Such a splendid tie. Uh, it seems to be fluttering slightly. Still, it certainly complies with the royal regulations. Please, pass freely. I like how it's the same voice for both of them. That's totally fine. All right, let's get ourselves in there. I wonder what the king's like. Yeah, me too. I want him to be really big and fat, like a really well-fed king. He's sort of losing his hair and he uses the crown to cover up the bold patch. It'll be good. I like that. Anyway, let's find out who the king is of Castell. Uh, what? Wait, that's not... The <laughs> Wait, what? Is that the king? He's a kid. All right. I'm just going to use the same voice anyway. Hmm, so you've come. I am Eric, 11th king of Castell and ruler of the realm. Our citizens presume many varieties of life to lead our great kingdom to prosperity. As king, permit me to congratulate you on this auspicious day with the life you have chosen. Uh, what, what life was it again? Oh, darling. Wait, wait, hold on, wait. So you look... He looks like a kid, she looks like a grown woman, yet he's the king and she's... I'm, in, oh, I'm so confused. Is that your wife or your mother? I can't work it out. Well, it matters not. My voice is incredibly deep for somebody my age, but may the life you've chosen lead you on a path to glory. Fantastic. The king is surprisingly cute. He's like a little boy. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Mumbling to yourself, are you? Pray tell, does my speech bore you? Be assured, my royal subjects, the dry formalities are now finished. Allow me to introduce my wife. Right, so it's his wife. What the hell? Queen Ophelia of Castell. Right, okay. Martin, congratulations on starting your life. For the sake of the kingdom, and more importantly, for those you hold dear, please do your very best to work hard in your new life day by day. She oh, she's beautiful. And she smells like a meadow in spring. Well, with the way she looks, I'd expect her to smell more like a cupcake, to be honest. <laughs> but that's just me. The dutifully smiling young lady to my right is my daughter, Laura. The statue? Laura's gone out. Again? Oh, she defies me constantly by going out Sans bodyguard. I don't know what to do with her. What is Sans body? What does Sans anything mean? Does that mean without? She sounds like... Oh, wait, she sounds like a wild princess. Wrong voice. Returning to the matter at hand, as you have now chosen your life, I should like to take this opportunity to request that you conduct yourself with pride as a true Castilian. Uh, all for one and one for all and all that. Anyway, enjoy your chosen life and spread joy to others. Gather much dosh, if that is your will. Garnish your life with stars, if that be your desire. Pursue a life of full bliss if ye wish so it. Wish so it? Wish it so. <laughs> All who reside in this great land of Reveria are free to live their life however they see fit. Martin the Paladin, follow, the own, uh, follow your own path in life. Here, gifts from the royal palace, wishing you luck and prosperity in the future. Oh yeah, 300 dosh. I am minted now. And I also got a world map. Fantastic. I've also furnished you with novice equipment. Try it on, please. The other gifts can be enjoyed at your leisure later on. Oh yeah, so now I look like the character that was on the character creation screen. Fantastic. This is a long ass tutorial, isn't it? My god. Anyway, uh, wow Martin, you're ready on your way now. Fantastic. Alright, equipping. You can change your weapons and defensive items on the main menu. Touch menu and then you can select gear. Um, change your equipped items will affect your stats and the look of your character. Collect various equipable items to create new outfits. Within the main menu you can use items you are carrying, raise your stats and more by selecting from the various options available. It suits you well. Yeah, I am somewhat envious. Oh darling. On to the next matter of business. Oh my god, is this going to end? I just want to kill a slime or something. <laughs> Each life is governed by a separate master. I already knew that. Everyone begins their life as a novice under the tutelage of a master. That's the way it's done. Once you have earned your master's respect, they'll promote you to the fledgling rank. If you work diligently, you too may eventually reach the rank of master. Or you may yet surpass the rank and reach that of hero or even legend. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, you must greet the Paladin Master. May do so prepare you for a new and exciting chapter in your life. All right. So is that the prelude? Yeah, prelude finished. Fantastic. So what's the next, cha next chapter called? I'm assuming something to do with either Paladins or fledg uh, Fledglings. Well then, Martin, my subject. 
You must make haste to your master. I wish you eternal luck as a member of the Paladin life. Should you ever become disheartened, you are always welcome to draw strength here at the castle. Alright, so is that like a res point or is he just being polite? I mean, I'd assume that my like house and my bed would be the way that I, you know, sleep and resurrect and stuff, but apparently not. Right, anyway, let's get ourselves outside this castle and go and find ourselves the Paladin Master. Right, off I get. Oh, that was such fun. Thanks to you, I got to see the king. You say you didn't actually want to speak to him, you just wanted to see him. How strange. I guess if you live in the kingdom, it's nice to see the king at least once. Anyway, uh, I guess this is where we part ways. I guess so. Oh, wait, wait, someone's having second thoughts. Uh, by the way, you look great in those new duds. But I do feel you're a little bit bare around the neck area. Um, I thought I'd be alright on my own, but actually, people keep trying to catch me. And it turns out there isn't a butterfly life, but I really, really, really want to know more about this world. Could I come with you, Martin? Oh, please, I beg of you, take me with you. Uh, yeah, sure, I guess so. Okay. Hooray! Uh, thank you, thank you. By the way, you can call me Flutter. Brilliant. Is your surname by? And assume so. And that's it. We've got ourselves a new companion. I wonder if he can fight with us. That'd be quite cool. Uh, next, next we have to go see the master. But where could they be? All oh, right, the king gave you a map, didn't he? I bet we can figure out where the master is by looking at the map. Fantastic. So map, map. Yeah, good. I'm just reading the bits in red now. Those are the only parts you need to know. Uh, oh, this one actually, though. Press X to toggle between different maps, right? Okay. And set locations. Okay, good. And then you can go home instantly. Oh, that's pretty handy. The list of potential locations will increase as you clear certain events. Oh, brilliant. Off we go, off we go. Let's go and see the master. Uh, save often to avoid losing progress. So you can save it at those weird blue crystal things. And data can also be saved in your room by checking in your bed. You will have the option to save or sleep in order to restore HP. Uh, time moves at a leisurely pace in Riveria. Yeah, I noticed that. I said pace, not pace. Anyway, I noticed that on the bottom screen, there was actually a bar along the top of it, which is kind of interesting. So let's save there. And you know what? This is actually taking a good while to get through. So I'm going to leave it there for today. That is episode one slash have a gander. If you'd like to see more of this game, let me know in the comment section below. And I assume in the next episode, we get to some hacking and slashing. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.